Hey everybody, it's Caitlin here. I'm, it's around, it's past noon, before one, and right now I am just getting up, getting ready for my day. I didn't fall asleep until past three o'clock in the morning, I'm pretty sure. I'll check the um, Garmin later, give you guys an update on that. Um, for those of you that don't know, I got a Garmin Vivo Smart HR for Valentine's Day from Quinn. That was really lovely. He knows how to make a girl feel really special. That was a really good Valentine's Day. I mean, they did overeat, but, but, I didn't go over my BMR. I burned more calories than I ate. So that's good. Um, today, we're going to restart Couch to 5K. And I'm actually going to do it this time. Because I can. Um, and we fit. Put in a job application at Planet Fitness. We'll see where that goes. I'd really like to get a job there. I like the idea of Planet Fitness. And the fact that they actually work in conjunction with The Biggest Loser is awesome. Like, that is so cool. I'd love that. Uh, if I could have that kind of job, I'd love it. Working with people. I would totally do it. I'm not wearing my glasses right now, and I probably look like shit. But I just woke up, so... It's okay, I guess. Um, I, so I haven't checked my weight this morning. Weigh-in is not till Thursday. I'm going to do a peak on the scale. I started out at 179, and last I checked, I was at 169.4. I am so close to actually reaching the 10-pound mark. Woo! I can do it. I know I can. I want to look good for swimsuit season. Well, that's not the reason I'm doing it. I'm doing it for me. I want to be healthy. I want to be a better me. So, I'm doing it this way. I'm making a really good lifestyle change. I mean, it's a pain in the butt for my parents and everybody else, because I don't always cook my meals, but I still record the meals. And they don't exactly do measurements or figure out how many calories are in their meals at all, and they don't like the fact that I do it, but... I don't care. This is my life, and I'm not gonna let my parents or anybody stop me from achieving the weight loss goals I'm setting for myself. I'm not ready to back down and roll over about what I'm eating and how much I'm eating. And hopefully, because my mom's actually getting in on Spark and all that, hopefully we'll start eating better because she's supposed to start cooking instead of my dad relatively soon. Hopefully I'll be getting a new job soon too because I got a call back from Highs and I got a call from Walmart. I haven't called them back yet. I don't want to work at Walmart or Highs. I don't want to work at a gas station or Walmart. I really don't want to work there. I hate, hate, hate Walmart. And I hate Highs. But it's better than nothing. If I have to work either place, I have to work either place. I don't want to work at the highs that called me back, especially because it, it has been burglarized several times. Like when I was back in 2014, when I worked for highs at a different one, that highs had been burglarized three times that year. And the one I worked at, I worked there for uh, over a year. We never were burglarized. And I'm just, 
I'm worried about that. I don't want to deal with that. It's not something I should ever have to deal with. But, regardless, hopefully I'll be getting a new job soon. I'm going to start putting in a lot more applications. Like, I'm going to I put one in at Planet Fitness last night. I'll put one in. I'll put in a couple today for other places around El around my area, Elton, Rising Sun, Northeast. Um, we are going to be doing some Couch to 5K today. I'm going to be on the Wii Fit, and I'll be looking up an actual exercise routine for Wii Fit to actually follow. I'm trying to do as much yoga as possible to stretch out before I warm up. So I'm probably going to hit refit first, do the yoga stretches, um, do some warm-up stuff on the refit before I go out for my couch to 5k, and I'm not going to bring the dog with me, because I'm not going to worry about them, you know, I don't want to worry about them, and it's really cold, and I don't, well, I'm, I'm probably not even going to go outside, I'll probably just do my couch to 5k inside for right now. Because it is really cold. Yesterday it was like 10 degrees outside. I don't want to go outside um, if it's below freezing right now. And plus, I can start my couch to 5k inside. I have a treadmill. Treadmills are good for that. I don't like the treadmill. I'd rather have an elliptical, but... You gotta deal with what you got. And hopefully this will become a daily thing again. It probably will. I just need to have the patience for it. Set aside some time when I wake up in the middle of my day and when I'm about to go to bed to do these things. But I'll start doing them on a daily basis. It'll help me keep accountable. And it'll help me keep... It'll... It'll, it'll help me make it a habit, I guess. You guys have a nice day. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is snowy. Like cats and dogs. See you. I'm not doing my couch to 5k outside. They will be doing it on the treadmill, because I'm not going out in the snow. I had my breakfast. It was frosted flakes and almond milk. Catch you guys later. I sincerely hope I don't get co I sincerely hope I don't get copyrighted for this. But look! 166% on the island run. And my Viva Smart says it counted as intensity. 15 minutes worth. Woo! Instead of doing a real couch to 5k today, I checked my galaxy. It said that my today's supposed to be a rest day so i'm treating it like one and doing we fit instead hope i don't get copyrighted for this but hi i did it my long run was better the uh, the long length run on the we fit i got a 172 percent burn rate but it didn't count towards intensity minutes oh i am so happy and proud of myself Woo! Hey guys, so it's the end of the day, and we're back in my room. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more information about me. Now, you all know that I am overweight, and I am seeking to lose weight, but I never really told you guys my goals yet. Well, I want to be down at 135. I want to be down there by the time summer comes up. By like mid-June, early July, I want to be down at that weight. And I know it seems like a lot when I really have a lot of weight to lose. I started out at 179 pounds. That just... That's my heaviest ever weight. And I'm... I was terrified when I saw that number I just knew I had to change 
because I don't want to be over 200 pounds. I'm only five foot tall. And I, <laughs> I, you look at me, I don't have an ounce of muscle on me. I wasn't happy. I was out of breath all the time. I was upset. And part of it stemmed from me losing my job at Royal Farms. I enjoyed my job there. I loved my job there, but I lost my job. And I gained a lot of weight working at Royal Farms and being out of a job. And it sucks. It really does. And I don't want to be... I don't want to be the girl with those problems. I mean, I, when I was younger, I didn't have problems with my weight. In elementary school, up until I actually started middle school, I was, I had, I was at a really good weight. I was happy. I was a happy-go-lucky kid. And then middle school happened. And my weight started fluctuating. I started getting big. I had all of my problems laid out before me. I was I was going through puberty early. I mean, at in 6th grade, I had a C cup and people were accusing me of stuffing my bra when I didn't even know that stuffing your bra was a thing. And people laughed at me. And I was the smart kid. I was the shy kid. And it just made things worse. And all the body shaming that goes on in a middle school locker room. Because you are required to change into a uniform. It's ridiculous. And that can hurt. That can hurt kids. And it can cause them to gain a shit ton of weight in a short period of time. And it makes them feel so self-conscious. And if they gain a ton of weight and they decide they want to lose weight, they might not tell their parents. And they might go about the worst means possible. Like falling into anorexia or developing bulimia. And I even have an eating disorder myself. I have avoidant and reluctant, no, avoidant and re, something, avoidant and reluctant, I forget the, (sighs) avoidant and, well, basically what it means is that I, will forget to eat. Like, I'll ignore my hunger because I don't want to eat or I'm forgetting to eat and it just slips my mind. And it can lead to anorexia and it can lead to a bunch of health problems. And I don't want any kid to go through that. I don't want any person to go through that. And it kills me to see kids either being so overweight they can barely move like when I was in high school we had a girl that weighed over 400 pounds and she was shorter than I am she was like maybe 4'9 maybe 4'10 at the most she's shorter than I am and she weighs 400 pounds and she's in the year below me and it was ridiculous I mean how can how can parents knowingly let, or even grandparents in her case, knowingly let their child gain that much weight without talking to a physician and getting them the help they need. It's flippin' ridiculous. I don't see how you could abuse your child like that. Because what it really boils down to is that should be considered a form of abuse. Just letting your child get so big, they're so prone to bullying, it's... I don't like that. It's not fair to the kid. I mean, would you want 
to be dealing with the same issues. And like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to have all the health issues that could come from me being overweight. I don't want to have to worry about blood pressure or not being able to walk. And I'm not ready to worry about wearing size 20 jeans. I'm wearing a size 15 and I don't want to be wearing a size 15. I remember when I was a size 8 in a sophomore year of high school. I remember when I was buying jeans with my mom for the first time in high school and I wore a 7. And I wasn't healthy, but I was smaller and I was happier. I wasn't happy, but I wasn't ups overly upset with myself. And when I got out of high school and I went into college, I gained even more weight. Like my senior year of high school, I actually had gone from, not my senior year, my sophomore year into my junior year, I had gone from 160-ish pounds to 145 pounds. I lost 15 pounds, and I was on top of the world when I was working in the cafeteria with those ladies, and I realized that I had lost that much weight. And I've put on... I've put on 34 pounds since I've gotten out of high school, and I want to drop down to 135. I want to be out of these scary areas of weight. I want to be healthy again. And I'm not ready to have health problems. I'm not ready to have those health problems associated with being overweight. And I'm not going to let them stop me. And I'm ranting. And I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean for you guys to hear me rant about that. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I'm unscripted. I'm sorry. <sighs> well, you know what? Instead of being worried about that, you know what I'll do now? I'll tell you about my day instead. So... I didn't do my fly, catch to 5k today because in my baby steps to 5k on my Samsung Galaxy through S Health, Samsung Health, the first day is supposed to be a rest day. So I decided to go easy and just do Wii Fit. I did some yoga, I did some aerobics, I did some strength training, and I genuinely, because I did very well with some of the aerobics I genuinely felt good about myself I had the I remember it, when I started this I know I wouldn't have had the endurance to actually get through the island run and I mean it was a little bit iffy because I had already done a long run it's a little bit iffy I was wondering if I was going to make it through the island run but I did it and I was proud of myself I didn't think I could do it. And you know what? I did it. And I'm better for it. And guys, if you are trying to lose weight, every single thing you do, every single day, every single step you take, every single sip of water, every single thing you put in your mouth counts. And you can't think of your your changes being a diet because if you think about that you'll never stick to it and you'll never be healthy you'll always be looking for the next fad diet and yeah some of them work for some people but in the long run are you going to actually have those results for the rest of your life i'm not cutting out anything i mean for Valentine's Day, I went overboard. I had a little bit too much to eat, but I still didn't gain anything. I was still where I was supposed to be. I kept under the calories that I had burned for that day. 
I still had a calorie differential, and I am proud of that. Because I still worked on Valentine's Day. I didn't give up. And you need to take each day as a challenge. Because, you know what? You matter. Every single person matters. We may be, if you look at the scheme of things, in the universe we may be these tiny little minuscule specks. But when it comes to here, when it comes to you, you matter. You're not just a tiny little insignificant speck. You matter. You change people's lives. You may not know it, but every single one of you has changed somebody's life. For the better, for the worse, I don't know which, but you have changed somebody's life. And while I hope it's for the better, I admit some of it may be for the worse. But that's okay. For all you know, you made them a stronger person. For those people that helped other people, that's great. And I ranted again. Oh, well. Um. I caught up on RWBY from Rooster Teeth. And I saw the finale and Quinn was right. I am soul crushed. It sucks. I'm not going to give spoilers, but it really does suck. Well, it's late. I'm going to piece this video together, upload it onto YouTube, um, link this to everybody on Spark People through my blog, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, Whatever it is, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this, have a good one. Peace out.